Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's the Scorpion. My mailbox is filling up with messages from Sierra fans letting me know that she has a new single out. It's titled Never Ever. The song features Young Jeezy and it also samples If You Don't Know Me By Now by Harold Melvin and the Blue News. When I listen to this song, I must honestly say that I love this song, but I don't think that this song is going to be a number one hit by Sierra. And, you know, Young Jeezy on this track, I just don't agree with it because his voice is too aggressive to be on a mellow track like this. And listening to both of that together does not mesh well with my ears. So, you know, the song is about a girl who is kind of stupid because she can't realize that her boyfriend don't love her. So, pretty much it's kind of simple. If that boy don't love you by now. He will never, ever, 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 ever love you. Or something like that, Sierra was singing. Something I was thinking about, this light is kind of bright on my face. Something I was thinking about when I was listening to this song is that, why isn't Sierra making dance singles anymore? Those songs were her most successful songs, and songs like this don't really do too well for her. So I, I question why did she come out with this song and not with a dance track. Maybe because it's the winter time and she's waiting to bring something like something you could dance to for the spring going into the summer. I don't know. But I just don't think that, you know, this is a, she should have came out, I think she should have came out with a dance single. You know, we had goodies, we had one, two step, we had, oh, we had get up, we had lose control with Missy Elliott. Come on, Sierra, we want to. We want to dance. Well, I know I want to dance. That's the type of stuff I want to listen from you. That's what made me buy goodies. That's what made me buy the Evolution. But even though the Evolution had other type of dance tracks, but I love it because I like because I, I know that Sierra can get the party started definitely. Now let's talk about the Diva video that I made. The Diva video was all fun and it was really directed at Joe Work TV. It was not a diss to Sierra, but a lot of y'all were saying that, oh, well, fuck you, then. You want, you feel like that about Sierra? No, I love Sierra, but, I mean, hey, if y'all, a lot of them thought it was the truth, and if they think it's the truth, but I said then, oh, well, but it was not a diss towards Sierra. I like Sierra, and I noticed that Sierra has more fans that are hardcore than Beyonce fans. They just can't take it. It's okay for me to diss Beyonce or critique Beyonce, but it's not okay for me to say anything wrong about Beyonce. I mean, Sierra, you guys are crazy. Um, well, so what? How do you? How do you guys think this song is gonna do on the charts? I mean, to me, I'm gonna say on the R&B charts, let's say like t 20. Let's say like 20 on the R&B charts. Like it's gonna be a top 20 single, and on the Hot 100, I'm gonna predict top 50. So, I mean, I'm just being honest with my with my thoughts of this song. And I want to know what y'all think. So, also, watch my next video. The Scorpion Show had to come back early because a lot of you guys keep asking me this question about Beyonce and what her comment was about the Jacksons. What did I think of it? So, I'm going to tell you what I think of it in the next video. So, I might put a bubble, like, right here. So, click this bubble. And watch my thoughts of what I think about Beyonce's statement about the Jacksons. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.